How you guys and girls doing today? Tim's and I went in here. In this video, we're going to be talking about Black Ops 4. Let's do it. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub. I even got it tatted on me. 81. How y'all doing? Like I always say, I appreciate every single one of y'all stopping my videos. Y'all just aren't subscribers if you have strong family, and I appreciate and I love y'all. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure to sub and like, baby. And uh, make sure to check out the social media, y'all, because we stay lit on there. Now, y'all, to get straight to the news, you know, Black Ops 4 is right around the corner, y'all. It is being released in a couple of days, and I cannot be more excited. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited or hype for it. We got a lot of news coming at us, y'all. And the one thing I wanted to talk about right before the release is Black Ops 4 has 14 multiplayer maps at launch. I'm reading this article right off of Game Rant, and I will have a link in the description uh, talking about it and showing you pictures of the maps that were going to be released. But I'm going to start reading from the thing here and start mixing my own words into it. A couple weeks ago, Treyarch's David Vondahar said that the developer in Activision's forthcoming first-person shooter, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, would only contain 11 multiplayer maps in total. Now, a screenshot of the game's multiplayer menu has surfaced online to contradict the studio employee's statement, and there is actually be 14 maps in total once the sequel launches at the end of this week. As indicated in the image below, and I will have this image, y'all, like I said, the link in the description, uh, of the Redditor and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 fan known as Thunder R, 10 of the maps coming to the title are brand new, and four of them, that is, Firing Range. It's jungle slums and summit y'all they're bringing back og black ops one maps a remakes from the past games plus players won't have to wait too long until the list of the 14 maps expand and the numbers will grow to 15 come november when nuketown is added for the sake of comparison, the last entry in the Call of Duty franchise, Sledgehammer Games, Call of Duty World War II, only launched with 10 multiplayer maps, but of course it had a single player campaign. Black Ops 4 lacking a solo experience to focus on multiplayer zombie in the new Black Ops mode, is de it definitely makes sense for Treyarch to give players a boost in the amount of maps they will be able to choose from. So all things considered, it will be interesting to see if Treyarch decides to increase the amount of multiplayer maps available in an inevitable DLC pack to come with the Black Ops 4. Past expansion packs typically include four, four multiplayer maps and one zombie map so perhaps the developer will offer up even more variety for multiplayer fans this time around in order to increase black ops 4 post launch longevity even more than the past entries of the series of course we know that the game is releasing on the 12th pc playstation 4 and xbox one i wanted to touch up on this a little bit y'all and get your opinion on this i mean so what do y'all think about black ops 4 not having a story mode now of course as we all know, um, story mode, I feel like, is what brought a lot of the community together back in the day. And, you know, having that story mode before you hopped into multiplayer zombies really made you feel immersed. And it, it, just, it was just a whole different feeling, you know. So going straight into a multiplayer game, you know, it, it, it is going to feel weird. It's going to feel like, you know... I don't have like the history. I don't have like the backstory to what's going on. And you know, we we are going to have the specialist mode um, that is talked about in other videos about how you know you'll be able to see the past of your specialist. But you know, just how in depth are they going to go with this? You know, of course, it's not going to be as long as you know eight hours per specialist. It's not going to be as long as a campaign. So we're going to have to see about you know how they're going to work this out. And also, y'all, what do y'all think about these maps? Fourteen maps in total. That's pretty. That's huge. That's a pretty big deal, y'all. I'm, I'm really happy they're going to be bringing that. And like they said, 10 maps that are coming that are brand new and 4 that are being re remade. Y'all, that's fantastic. Like, that, that's absolutely crazy, y'all. And the fact that, I mean, let me know, y'all, what y'all think. I mean, what was y'all favorite Call of Duty of all time? Firing Range, Jungle, Slums, and Summit? All Y'all, that's like... That right there, give me those maps. And just in my personal opinion, give me those maps and I'll be satisfied, man. Like... Man, 14 maps, y'all, coming out. This will be absolutely crazy. So let me know in the comments below, y'all, what y'all think. I also have another uh, post right here, y'all. Just a little short update. I wanted to give this to y'all. And um, it's talking about the system requirements. Now, I know this normally isn't a really big deal, but they actually have two um, brand new categories for the system requirements. We're going to get into that. This is coming straight off of a PCGamer.com, and I will have a link in the description as well talking about this, and we're going to get right into the requirements. It says minimum is going to be Windows 7 or higher, Intel Core i3-4340, 8 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 660 or a 1050. Now, this is bare minimum, y'all. I mean, come on, come on now. Like, I'm not laughing at nothing, but i7 and an i3, I mean, most laptops will be rocking something heavier than an i3. I mean, you're, you're editing laptops, so have something better than that. So, let's see. You got recommended OS. Windows 10 until i5 2500K a Ryzen R5 6800X 12 gigs of RAM and a GTX 970 or a 1060 so we're getting a little bit up there now 970 and a 1060 really good graphics cards a high now these are the two 
uh, these are the two. This is the reason why I decided to add this. Uh, high refresh slash competitive. This is our recommended setup for competitive players using high refresh rate monitors at 1080p. So if you're playing at 1080p, you know you want that competitive frame rate. Rate. You know you want you want all out. You're going to be looking for Windows 10 64-bit i7 8700K or AMD Ryzen 1800X, 16 gigs of RAM of course, and GTX 1080 or Radeon RX Vega graphics and Ultra. This is a top tier setup for players using 4K monitors looking for the smoothest frame rate. So this is if you're going all out. I'm assuming this is, means 1440p as well. Uh, 1440p 4K, you know, like I said, 60 FPS, you, you want to go all in. You're going to want Windows 10 64-bit, i7 8700K or an AMD Ryzen 2700X. So pretty much the same thing for um, the CPU except for the uh, AMD 2700 as opposed to the 1800 from the last setup or 16 gig, 16 gigs of RAM and graphics card 1080 Ti so I mean if you're going all in I mean you want this is serious boy uh, Black Ops 4 of course preloading on Battle.net will be going underway 9 p.m. Uh, PT and 12 a.m. ET on October 9th and 10th with a download size of 55 gigs and for those who don't want to be bothered translating time zones there are worldwide time zones and like I said y'all have this link in the description it you know goes from los angeles all the way down to new york san pueblo london stockholm berlin moscow singapore seoul and sydney and they have all the time zones right here y'all if you know you want to download it at exactly 12 a.m whatever your time zone is so y'all that's the news i wanted to break it down for y'all um really excited for black ops 4 really excited to see what these maps are going to bring us really excited to see you know um what you know what this game is going to bring in terms of call of duty you know how it's just going to shape the call of duty community you know what are they going to do after this because you know them taking the battle royale step was a huge um a huge step and i feel like you know uh they're getting they're going to be getting of course a lot of criticism for it a lot of people you know oh you're just copying and stuff like that and a lot of people who are saying this is changing i know a lot of huge streamers are loving it and my Myself included when I played it for the short time that I played it even though I got wrecked a lot I mean I actually loved it y'all and I haven't even you know touched up on multiplayer yet or you know um zombies or you know the um what's it called god damn it your specialist missions that we're gonna have y'all so I'm thinking this is gonna be a game that is gonna be a really big deal and if you know done right and done correctly and they're you know like I said they're basing the game off of pure feedback alone it can really shape the community so y'all let me know um, down in the comments what y'all think of Black Ops 4 so far if you're excited you're not excited what you think about it and things like that and I will catch y'all in the next one Tips and I'm gonna eat out Yamagini yeah, chain, rest in peace to my superior Hermes, link a feed a village in Liberia TMZ taking pictures causing my hysteria